going to kind of ebb and flow through the night, as I will show you in a minute on the computer model. But right now, let's uh, focus in on temperatures, which are pretty stable, pretty much in the low 20s across the board. And let's look at the sky conditions. In other words, the weather being reported by the official reporting stations at the airports. And you can see we are getting snowflakes. Now, again, a lot of these are flurries, such as at Metro Airport, that's flurries. But some of this is light snow, especially the farther east you get. So on the model, just watch the evolution through the night. This area just kind of sags westward a bit and just kind of persists, particularly over the thumb. So areas basically Detroit northward has the best chance to get any meaningful snow today. And I'm not talking about a dumping of snow. We're just talking about enough to maybe coat the ground overnight. And then tomorrow that stuff starts to pull out. And what we're watching is as the... Uh, wind starts to take on uh, a much uh, better westerly component, we're going to start getting some lake effect bands coming across the lake here. Not everybody will get them, and the model doesn't always pick those up and show them appropriately, but be aware snow shower activity could increase late in the afternoon into tomorrow night. As far as total snow, and this is tonight, which isn't a lot for us except uh, to the east, but as far as tonight through tomorrow, we're looking at the best chance for uh, a white Christmas and meaningful accumulation being, of course, in the eastern thumb there. But it's generally an inch or less for a lot of us as we move through the day tomorrow. So for tonight, we are looking at upper teens with, again, that light snow mainly to the east. And the wind is uh, tapered off a bit from what we were at today. And then for Christmas Day, again, some thumb snow in the morning and then snow showers a bit more in coverage as the afternoon progresses, particularly late in the day into tomorrow night, uh, 28 for the high. And then on the seven day forecast, things quiet down for the weekend. We warm back up to near 40 on Sunday, rain Sunday night, changing to perhaps some snow and snow showers on Monday and then Tuesday, a uh, sunny day and cold.